Savoy Cup 2023 Advanced Strictly Finals. This is my favorite competition format, so let's see who makes the best impression. <laughs> Jamin here, make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any of my big fat bloated opinions on all things swing dancing. Now today I'm going to be scrutinizing this advanced strictly Lindy competition format. For those of you who do not know, this type of competition gives the couples the opportunity to choreograph their set. And couples generally have a 12 bar blues musical structure to make their impact, along with a second and even third set in some cases that vary in time length. I love this format. It's like watching the highlights of a sports game versus watching the entire game. You get to see those moments and just a clear snapshot of what the couple can do in a, in a really short period of time. It's like a pithy version of a showcase. Since the majority of Swing Dance choreography is subjective, I've got to point out those unsaid expectations for this particular format. The key word here is balance. Judges just want to see if dancers can balance their choreography with social dancing and breaks and flashy showmanship and control. Now I'm telling you these things because it's just the unsaid rules. Now of course I'll be paying attention to these rules to see which couples embody those qualities the best. But I'm also gonna be looking for an additional quality here. For me, it's the ability to convey authentic joy without looking fake. So let's see which couple can do this. But before I do that, don't forget to check out the benefits of becoming a Street Smart Swing member. You get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is my success system that helps dancers really understand the core principles that make Lindy Hop work fundamentally. Once you can grasp what master dancers understand, you will be able to grasp the principles of Lindy Hop at your current level, which will ultimately put you in the driver's seat to fix your own dancing without always having to need a teacher. Members of the Street Smart Swing community also receive personalized feedback on their social dancing. They will also receive 24-hour access to all classes posted each week. So check out the benefits in the description below. Okay, it's time to get judgmental.
Wow, that was really impressive. Right off the top, I will say the couple who balanced all those qualities I talked about before that were just unsaid subjective qualities that everybody values in this type of competition. The couple that I feel that really highlighted this was Alexi and Marta. I just love how well they constructed their choreography. I mean, they really embodied the essence of being balanced. Their styles just naturally mesh together and Aside from the choreography, their their lines were just so beautiful. I mean, I love how Martha just added more complexity to her natural body movements by changing levels throughout the performance. And she did it a lot when she was doing swing outs. I really love how Alexi matched her lines and her level of energy throughout the entire performance. I mean, I've seen Alexi dance a lot and I must say, this is a very controlled performance, demonstrating a tremendous amount of growth and discipline for this dancer. A lot of dancers often turn their assets into liabilities because they don't have enough discipline to know when not to do something. And he definitely provided a solid example of how to not shoot yourself in the foot. Overall, they were my favorite. Now, I'm gonna segue to talk about the couple I felt who looked the most authentic and conveyed the joy I often see lacking in these pressurized competitions. So my favorite couple was Oat and Youngji. <sighs> there wasn't a single moment that I hated when watching their faces. Their, their performance was the type of performance I would personally use to explain how fun swing dancing is to people who've never seen it before. I mean, it's hard to get people to want to swing dance, and a lot of times we think about the techniques and all the specifics and all that stuff, but people are just simply intimidated and they don't see people having fun at the core, and I feel the power of their performance is how they invite the audience to join in with just because of the joy they're emitting. They made me just wanna get up and start dancing. This doesn't mean their performance wasn't complex because they had some moments that were definitely more advanced. However, it does mean they have the ability to amplify the soul and joy of swing dancing more naturally than the other competitors for me. And what's weird is they chose to do less in their performance. This is a fantastic example of how to do more with less. And I can't say everybody else had that quality. For that alone, they were my favorite couple to capture the joy and emotion of swing dancing. So who was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to help some of you in my class online. Take care.